Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Today I'm going to show you how to safely operate around power lines with the Agris T40 or really any other DJI spray drone, the T10, the T20, the T30. They all operate the same way in terms of how the system is a hybrid between manual and autonomous operation. What I mean by that is with the DJI system, during autonomous flight, you can manually override or manually take over that, that flight if it's deemed critical, or actually before the autonomous flight, you can manually fly it to get to a safe spot and then uh, return to autonomous operation. So in this situation here, our T-40 is on the ground right here. Above the T-40 and just ahead of it, we have power lines. Now, if the T-40 were to take straight off and fly over those lines, where it's sitting at right now, that would be pretty close to those power lines, a bit uncomfortable. Um, you know, the obstacle avoidance is great, but around power lines, we never really want to trust it uh, that much. And so the best case maybe in this situation, since we have a 20 foot power line, is to fly under it. So we could set our, our connection route height to 10 feet on here. That would go up 10 feet, fly under it. But again, that wouldn't leave us but about maybe, maybe five or eight feet over the drone. So really, what's best in this situation is not allow the drone to autonomously operate under or over the power lines, but instead manually fly it into the field and then let it op operate autonomously once it gets into the field. So we're going to go ahead and move into the trailer, uh, get away from the drone, and I'll show you how to do that on the remote and I'll show you kind of uh, some of the manual override uh, features. Okay, so we right now we're on the screen that um, we can pick our fields. We're going to go ahead and pick that field. We're going to choose our template just like always. There we go. Um, we have everything set up on the field. So now we're actually able to uh, start. And so before we start, we're going to go into our settings and we're just going to check to make sure that our empty tank and task complete are set to hover. That way it doesn't start returning back to us uh, whenever the tank is empty and we can actually manually uh, fly it back. Now you could set this to return to home. You just have to remember that if this is set to return to home and it has to fly under power lines autonomously, that could be a dangerous situation. Okay, so those are set to hover and everything else looks good. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. It's going to upload everything to the drone. We're going to change our, our connection route height to nine feet. And so now you can actually take off from this screen, which is the best way to do it. It's best to go ahead and upload the mission and then take off from this screen manually. If we slide right here, it's going to take off autonomously. Let's take off manually. So to do that, both sticks down and in. We're going to arm the drone. It'll spin up and we're just going to fly it like we normally would manually. I'm going to fly straight up in the air. I'm going to get it about five feet off the ground, plenty far enough away from the power lines. We're going to fly under the power lines. So now we are past the power lines. We are out into the field. So if it goes straight up, it's not going to hit anything. And now all I have to do is, or on the same screen here, I just have to swipe right on that screen. And there you go. It's going to start autonomous operation from a hover mode. So you don't have to swipe right whenever it's on the ground just sitting there waiting. You actually swipe right to make it start while it's hovering um, uh, for your command. There you go. So now I'll show you how to get it back home. So let's say, let's just say it does start returning home autonomously. I'm gonna make it return home right now. I'm pressing my return to home button. So there the drone stopped out in the field. You hear our the return to home uh, beep that the remote does. Now it's coming back to us. So the return to home is set to 10 feet high. That's 10 feet over the home point. So you see out there, the drone's actually probably about 15 feet high. So what I'm going to do is I don't want it to return to home automatically. Right here, I'm just going to pull back on this right stick. There you go. So now I've actually canceled return to home by just simply pulling back on the right stick. And now I'm flying the drone manually. It's just hovering right there. It's not going to go anywhere. So just what I, what I always like to do is turn the drone around, face it away from you and then just bring it back in manually. That way you have a lot more control over the height and you can just stop it. If I just let go, it's gonna hover. I can go nice and slow under these power lines, keep it plenty far enough away. And I should also note that it does sense these power lines. Right now at the top of this screen, we have a red indicator right there. 
that shows us 16.8 feet above the drone there are power lines so it usually will detect power lines but again why risk it if you don't have to you know fly safe under power lines because running into a power line is a bad day i can promise you that so there you go that's uh that's how to take off manually uh, from an automated mission that's how to return how to stop return to home and fly manually under power lines you can do the, the same thing over power lines um, it just depends on the situation that you might be in hope that helps thanks